Graphs and statistics are often used to persuade. Advertisers and others may accidentally or intentionally present information in a misleading way. Just because you see a graph doesn't mean you should believe it. The most important thing to do when given a graph is to interpret the data. I'm going to show you a few of the ways to make a graph misleading. You'll learn how to recognize some of the common tricks to avoid being misled. Let's take a look at this first example of favorite food. They both show the same information but look very different from each other. One common trick that's used is to manipulate the vertical axis. Look at graph 1. The axis starts at 950 and has intervals of 5, making the differences appear larger than they actually are. Graph 1 makes it appear as if hot dogs got almost double the number of votes when it actually got just 15 more votes. Look at the difference between pizza and hamburgers. The bars make it look as if they got over three times as many votes when they only got 17 more votes. So in this case, graph 2 is the better representation. Now let's take a look at the graphs on cell phone use. Both graphs start at zero and show the same information. Look at the maximum values on each graph. Graph A is 16 and graph B is 80, which is extremely high compared to the actual usage. The difference between cell phone use in 2000 and 2010 is 10 million people. By setting the maximum value so high in graph B, it makes that difference seem much lower than it actually is. So when analyzing graphs, analyze all parts and not just the vertical axis. These were just some of the common tricks used to make graphs misleading.